Cold and windy today, but did limit out at Waterloo. We'll head out to uh, Waterloo to check things out. Struck out earlier this uh, year, but luckily we were able to limit out today. And uh, had to make some adjustments though. We uh, brought two flies with us, the near deer that we like so much, the olive near deer, and then uh, that new fly that we've been trying out, the John Deer, which is the uh, original uh, fishing fly that uh, the near deer was created from. And uh, here's uh, the John Deer uh, fishing fly taking one. It's a very slow uh, retrieve. See a, uh, a slight twitch in the line and next thing you know we're setting the hook. And uh, unfortunately uh, it took us a while to figure out what the pattern was. We tried different retrieves, indicators, uh, the different flies and whatnot and we finally figured it out. And it was um, one that we had used or found out how to use uh, about five years ago when we fished this uh, pond on a summer day when it was cold and windy. Uh, what we do is, is we cast the line and pretty much just let the line drift with the wind and the current and look for any twitch in, uh, in the line. We look at the line or we uh, really not look at uh, the end of the line. We're looking at the line as it's uh, close to the rod and you can see uh, if there's any slight movement in the line, we're just going to go ahead and set the hook. We'll miss some, but we'll also get a, a, a number. In fact, uh, today we probably got oh, roughly 15 or so and kept five to keep our limit. And so uh, the rest of the uh, uh, video is just really showing you that little twitch in the line that we're uh, looking at. So here's another one. Just uh, take a look at that line, and you'll just barely see the line movement. Sometimes we'll miss it. Other times um, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see it and we'll go ahead and set the hook. Other times we'll miss it and just let it uh, uh, continue on with its drift. And like we were saying, uh, the, the only reason why we're bringing any line in is just to keep the slack out of the line as it's drifting. And this is one that we caught on a two weight. Uh, this is the biggest one that we got uh, this round. Went about maybe 12, 13 inches, but really good find on that two weight. There's a close-up look of one that's going to take, and it'll be barely see the hit. There we go. In this case, uh, what we saw was the line moved uh, a little bit further from the tip, but we were able to see that movement, and so we just uh, go ahead and set the hook, and, and there it is. There's one where you can see it starting to move on us. We'll just wait. There it is again. So a uh, very, very frustrating day, cold and windy, and that uh, about 18 uh, uh, mile per hour winds uh, north northwest. But uh, what uh, we noticed is even though the wind kicks up on us, uh, we're letting the, the the fly drift with the line as it uh, uh, is being pushed by the wind as well as the uh, 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 the current from the pond and the fountain. There's another one. There's another one of the bigger ones that we caught. And again, we were using the John Deere uh, fishing fly and the near deer. And that John Deere one, um, we're, we're thinking that uh, uh, it didn't work as well as the near deer, but uh, I believe it's mainly because the uh, near deer had heavier weight and was getting down to where they were. Um, but even then, um, Still got some, some good hookups, and I had a lot of fun with the uh, two-weight rod that uh, we had took out there with us. So I ended up taking two rods, a four-weight and a two-weight. Four-weight was good because of the wind, that two-weight fiberglass, slow uh, action. Uh, definitely uh, have to make some adjustments in how we're casting, but we'll just take a look at uh, another strike here. All righty. So just, uh, again, uh, no retrieve. Let the fly drift and uh, see any movement in the line. Set the hook. All right, and there's today's limit. Good stuff. All right, till next time, we'll catch you all later, and good luck and good fishing.